All right, so um, when talking about a Bitmoji classroom, I know you can just make one. And I found some amazing templates and that caused me to change what I was doing completely. So this is what I had, but I still wanna keep a lot of the things that I had before. So here is like the welcome sign that I have. And if you look in the classroom that I'm gonna have, I made it fit this lemon and teal room because this is my favorite and it's what I wanna do. So I'm in the process of transferring over things. Some of the things came stock and I started deleting things, adding things, all of that. So when doing these things, remember you can customize it to whatever you want. There's no cookie cutter answer. So I like this I heart math sign and I wanna keep it. So I'm going to copy and then I'm just gonna paste it over. So now you'll see this is the sign. Now I love the sign, it is beautiful, but it doesn't fit into the yellow and teal theme that I told you that I wanted. So what we're going to do is we are going to press our picture tools, it's format, it makes it a different color usually, so it stands out to you. And I'm going to press color. Color allows you to change the color of it. So as you see, the eye is black, the heart is red, and the word math is blue. So in this situation, it changes the saturation. This is the tone, and then here it actually recolors it. So if you wanted it to be all black, you have that option. If you wanted it to be this lime yellow in the background, that would be fine too. What I want to do ultimately is this one, but I also wanna give you the options of knowing what the eyedropper is. So here it says eyedropper, and the eyedropper in general just means you can change it to a color on the screen. So it is giving you the option to figure out what color you want it to be. So if I want it to match with this kind of yellow versus this yellow, you can see that it's different. So if I wanted to make it this yellow, it would then change the entire picture to be that yellow. So you have the option to not just use the colors that they give you here, you can get more variations and get a color that's on the screen. As you see, I was playing around with it. So these are all the different blues and yellows that are on the screen right now. But as I said, ultimately what I wanna go to is here and do this dark teal. I'm going to crop it and that's just to make it a little skinnier. I don't love the frame. If you like the frame, you could keep the frame. But you just take this, when you see this, perpendicular line right here. I move it, I know it's movable. If I do that, then that's what I, the area that I'm cropping. So now all you see is that, it's not what we want. We wanna make sure that we're moving only that. So I have this and ultimately I don't love that it's like this. I kinda want them to go together. So I'm gonna press shift and I wanna select all of them. I say these, you know, corners and dots remind me make sure that I have all three and not something else because sometimes that happens you know you'll have the chair um, the the cut the cushion with it as well and that's not what you want you only want those things so you would just again shift shift press lets it go shift holds it so I'm going to go here and I'm going to make sure it says align to selected objects again I want up here this is align, and I put align to selected objects. If I align it to the slide, then it's going to go the length of the slide, but I just want them to be aligned together. So I want them to be distributed horizontally. I want them to align to the middle. And now they are, again, distributed the evenly a space from them. I don't love that this one's small, so I'm gonna go back and change and make this one a little bigger. If you touch this, I see this is 1.2 and this is also 1.2, so I'll make this one 1.2. And again, I'm just going to select. I'm gonna align and I'm gonna say distribute. And now it moved it, and then I'm gonna want it to align 
to the top and it brought this one up to that one. I'm gonna drag it up a little bit. As you see the lines come, this is showing me that this is lined up to the top of the whiteboard. So right here, it's still telling me what it's lined up to. So this is lined up to the top of the bookshelf. That's what I was going for. But I do want it to be aligned to the top of here. So this is how I get a poster, get a saying, or get something that I already have that I like to match what it is. So this, I think, fits in perfectly with it. I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure that we're okay. So I'm going to do it with this sign. It says warning due dates are closer than they appear. It's a sign I had in my actual classroom. So I thought, cool, let's put it here. So again, all I did was control C for copy. And then I did control V for paste. This is kind of large and kind of blocks my lemon tree. So I guess we'll figure out where I want it to go. But we are going to, again, format it. If I make it a smidgen smaller. And then I'm gonna send it backwards. Yep, that's fine for me. So I sent it backwards, which just meant I want it behind the lemon tree and I still wanna recolor it. So as I said, format, we're here, but if you weren't, you would know, you would just double check and press it. So I have all the options again, I can make it black and white. Again, I'm trying to make it flow. So I have to decide, do I think that that's too hard to see? Do I want it to have some black in with it, some black in the blue? Again, all the options, but I think I'm going to do this one. So simple, easy peasy way to make sure or to ensure that you are matching whatever theme you choose. Or if you want something, but you don't love the color that it's in, you have the option to recolor it.